it's Louise here. Um, I've been receiving a lot of questions recently about um, my pictures. Um, I've been getting a lot of nice comments on them and stuff like that, which I really appreciate. Um, but I've been asked a couple of times now, um, why uh, are my pictures always indoors? Um, which is totally understandable and you know it's a, a reasonable question. Um, and instead of typing it to everyone, I just want to make a quick video just to explain um, why most of, well, all of my pictures are indoors at the moment. What actually happened was, um, I was actually, about two years ago now, maybe a year and a half ago, um, I was out um, clubbing in Edinburgh, Scotland, where I live. Um, I was with a few friends and we actually went to, you know, what was known as a gay area. So, you know, you, you would be safe. You know, there would be no, because you know there's a lot of idiots in this world that are totally homophobic. Um, so I was like, yeah, and, and, I, and I used to love it. I used to love going out with friends and having a good time. Um, and then there was one night where I was actually coming out of the club and I was waiting on a taxi to go home. Uh, and basically there was three men and they were across the road from me and they were, they were shouting abuse, you know, um, faggot, uh, poof, queer, gay, you know, I hate saying those words, but unfortunately that's the words that were getting aimed at me. So I just ignored it. I, I just thought, oh, they'll go away if I just ignore them and I'll wait on my taxi and go home. But the three of them, you know, they continued to shout and scream and bawl and one actually came up to me and... Um, he just shouted, basically right in my face, um, shouting faggot. Um, then he decided to punch me in the face and he knocked me down to the ground and he then proceeded to, you know, start punching me more and more. Uh, and then the other two, his other two friends, then joined in. Um, so basically at the end of the night, it got stopped, uh, a lot of people chased them off. Uh, but I was actually left with... Uh, two black eyes, I had my lip was all, you know, burst open and stuff like that. I fractured my cheekbone and what actually happened was uh, one of them actually uh, smashed a glass bottle across my leg, uh, which really hurt, that was the worst. Um, and so basically I got taken in an ambulance and I spent three days in hospital. Uh, and ever since that day, uh, that night, sorry, um, I've been really nervous, um, just so nervous to, you know, go out uh, dressed as Louise. Um, it's, I, I'd, I'd like to think maybe it was maybe a wrong place, wrong time kind of moment, but yeah, the, you know, those people were looking for trouble. Um, and, you know, ever since, it's pretty horrific, um, if I'm honest. It's not an excuse. It's really horrific. Um, I never expected anything like that to happen to me. You know, I knew I was going to get abuse. Uh, I knew I was going to get the old, you know, homophobic comment and stuff, but I never knew that I was going to be attacked the way I did. So that's pretty much the reason why um, I've not been taking any pictures of me outdoors. Um, don't get me wrong, I still go out as, you know, my real name's Stephen, so um, I still go out with Stephen, you know, I've, I've never had any problems, but as Louise, I'm finding it really difficult to maybe... Um, go out and you know have a good time uh, with friends and whatnot. So I'm hoping though that uh, maybe one day, pretty soon, I can get the confidence back and go back out as Louise and have a good time without any trouble. And that that's all I want. I just want to live my life without any trouble, without any stress. And that's pretty much it. So. Um, I just want to clear that up for everyone, and I, I'm really sorry about my accent. You know, I'm, I'm from Scotland, and a lot of my I know a lot of my subscribers are from USA and other countries. But um, hopefully, you can understand me okay. And yeah, please get in touch soon. Yeah, I'd love to hear from you. Thank you. Bye.